Hallo, ik ben Frits Schoeren en voorzitter van de stichting AMI, Associatie Meervoudige Intelligenties. Vrijdag 24 september organiseren we de conferentie Meervoudige Intelligenties uit en in de praktijk. Als voorbereiding daarop zullen we de komende maanden met regelmatig een vlog maken en daarbij een onderwerp van die dag nader belichten of antwoord geven op brandende vragen die ons bereiken. Vandaag ga ik in op het belang van de ondergewaardeerde intelligenties, de kinesthetische, de visuele, muzikale en naturalistische intelligenties. Brandon Shearer, neuropsycholoog en onderzoeker, zal die dag ook een presentatie geven. Ik heb hem als voorzet gevraagd uit te leggen waarom deze intelligenties zo belangrijk zijn voor de ontwikkeling van kinderen, maar ook voor de verdere persoonlijke ontwikkeling van volwassenen in hun dagelijkse leven, privé en werk. Hi, my name is Brandon Shear and Fritz of the Association for Multiple Intelligences <coughs> has asked me to um, speak today about the other four intelligences, my other four intelligences, your other four intelligences <clears throat> that tend not to be valued or uh, celebrated in the same way as the traditional concept of IQ. Let me first uh, begin by asking a question about what is it about this word, uh, this concept of intelligence that uh, garners such uh, deep reverence amongst us? <clears throat> well, to answer that question, uh, I suggest you look at Howard Gardner's definition of uh, what is intelligence. And he's just a very simple yet profound definition that intelligence is the ability to solve problems, create products, uh, and provide services that are valued in one or more cultures or communities. And it's using this definition that expands and explodes our understanding of what it means to be a smart person in everyday life, as well as in academic settings. Now, your traditional conventions of IQ, um, <clears throat> which we are all thoroughly uh, imbued with for more than 100 years now, uh, equate intelligence just with book smarts and academic success. Well, multiple intelligences research has found that there are four of the intelligence that are most associated with academic success. And those are, of course, linguistic, logical, mathematical, interpersonal, as well as the intrapersonal. So <clears throat> the gift of MI theory is that it recognizes people who are also smart in important ways outside of the classroom outside of graduate school, in uh, the real life of every culture around the world. These other four intelligence that are less valued still contribute to our well-being and the quality of our lives in our communities in powerful ways. I think it is a mistake to consider these uh, other four intelligences as merely talents or non-cognitive or of less intellectual and abstract thinking rigor. All eight intelligences can be used in a wide variety of ways from the most mundane, memorizing word lists, for example, to the highest levels of analysis, creativity, and synthesis. They contribute valuable highly complex and nuanced products and services that make our world a better place. So, and we're discussing the difference between IQ, multiple intelligences, and the four other intelligences that are not so valued in the IQ model, nor in our academic uh, worlds. And in order to better understand the uh, the the depth and significance of how MI is different, we need to first really pay attention to um, how each of the intelligence are expressed in broad ways in everyday life and in our cultures. In the first way, each intelligence has its academic and what's called convergent problem-solving aspects. 
Uh, we see that in school and in accounting and in uh, uh, bookkeeping, any of uh, those uh, traditional IQ heavy uh, skills. The other way is creative innovation. Each intelligence can be expressed in creative uh, ways that uh, change the nature of what we see and what we do. And, you know, this is obvious in music and in art and in language and in poetry and in science fiction and novel writing. Uh, the third way is aesthetic judgment. And aesthetic judgment has to do with uh, the nature of beauty and composition that each intelligence um, uh, possesses when it's expressed. Uh, so you can be creative, but it doesn't necessarily mean what you've created is aesthetically uh, beautiful to be judged by uh, experts in the world. And the fourth area is cr uh, creative or practical applications and problem solving in everyday life, what we might call common sense. And each of the intelligences has those everyday applications. So keep those, those, uh, uh, those four very important ways that each intelligence gets expressed in mind as we go through them. And remembering that each one of these intelligences are, are ways of thinking and processing that our actual brain and our mind does. Uh, and these are used to enhance um, our quality of our thinking, both in school and in our work, uh, to make our cognitive performances and memorization and understanding better. Second of all, they are performances and behaviors uh, evident in the various professions uh, in the world that have masters, apprentices, uh, beginners, and they require skill, complexity, and creativity to require the highest levels of achievement. So they're not just thinking, they're also doing in the everyday world, real world. So according to MI theory, success in life depends upon using and developing one's unique uh, and particular thinking strengths. A successful life that is fulfilling can also depend on the adequately developed intrapersonal intelligence, our self-smarts. How do we uh, manage ourselves in the world? And this is the fifth uh, other intelligence that um, moves in invisible and uh, some un unappreciated and neglected ways, uh, both in schools and, and in our homes and in our workplaces, in our communities. It's very important for leadership development to have uh, good quality intrapersonal intelligence. Anybody in stressful jobs requires the uh, intrapersonal intelligence, but it's invisible, so it doesn't have any tangible things like instruments and sound and words and the body and kinesthetic, so uh, it, it gets neglected sometimes. So as we go through the four other intelligence, I want you to be thinking about and imagine how these thinking abilities uh, contribute to a, a person's, a child's self-worth, contributes to their identity, their, their personal fulfillment, right? and their creative expression. Do we allow them, do we honor and value their creative expression? Career planning, social, cultural endeavors, things we do as societies and communities to make the world better, to get along, to survive, to beat viruses, right? And also just fun. You know, how each one of these contribute to fun. Is fun important in everyday life? You bet it's important. It's in, to be a well-balanced uh, person. You not only have to strive towards academic, professional achievement goals and to have a healthy society, but you also have to have fun and to play together. So please keep, the, keep those in mind as we talk about the everyday uh, expressions of each of the other four often neglected and underappreciated multiple intelligences. Heb jij brandende vragen of opmerkingen over meervoudige intelligentie? Laat ze gerust achter of bezoek onze website stichting ami.nl. We helpen jou.